Hi there, I'm dream analyst Lainey Dolphin and I'd like to speak more about kids because I've done that a couple of times and so many of you have children including myself and so here's what I want to talk about. The fact that we humans are self-regulating organisms and it makes sense that we need to self-regulate because in our waking life we are adept at lying, avoiding, sweeping and denying. I call that welcome to the human race. And as children, that's happening even more so because when we're adults, we're hiding things because sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously, but we just veer away from wanting to talk about things. Whereas when we're children, it's not just that, it's also that often we can't speak up. I mean, if you're in grade three or grade two and your teacher in school says something that aggravates you, you're not gonna be there confronting her. Neither will you probably to your mom or dad if something's going on in the house that's upsetting you. So that's the, the holding in. And that is the reason why children have so many more nightmares than we do as adults. So the thing about analyzing a dream with your child is the greatest thing is that it gives you a window into what is going on with that child this week. And if there's a nightmare there, that's the reason why I often say to you, you never want to say to your kid when they wake up with a nightmare, oh, it was just a dream, go back to sleep. You want to engage them. It, allows them to let go of some of the feelings they're having that's locked up. And it also gives you a secret mirror into something that's going on and how your child is feeling about that. So I'm all for problem solving that we're doing in our dreams. And I encourage you to welcome your children into the world of problem solving sooner rather than later.